I like making this draw. Put it down! Her name's Bonnie Parker. And the girl's gonna make your dreams come true. She's romantically linked with the rebellious, disenfranchised son of Texas. Put your hands down! You deserve yourself way better than Flat Barrow. And the two of them are about to embark on a crime spree. Thanks, Flat. Take the note. Hear that? I'm supposed to be in prison, big girl. Yeah. I'm gonna spend the rest of the weekend with this lovely thing here. Go, step on it! Are you Frank Heimer? I used to be. I bet wrongdoers hated having you that big mountain of yours on their ass. Despite all the things we've done, no one had been killed before. After tonight, nothing was ever going to be the same. You know what I've been thinking, Claude? I think we should do bigger jobs. Maybe we shouldn't do any more jobs. Well, fine, but if we're gonna, they ought to be big ones. I'm gonna get that light cast of yours doing five and dime stick ups. And stuff can go wrong just as likely doing them. Don't feel comfortable doing bigger jobs, just the two of us. Maybe we should hook back up with folks. What, so he can gun down some poor SOB, done nothing wrong whatsoever? Well, what about your brother? Because he's done his time, hasn't he? Yeah, and he ain't looking to do any more. Mm-mm. I ain't getting Buck involved in this. What's somebody else, then? Oh, well, pull bigger jobs. Need bigger guns, too. Well, then, somebody else and bigger guns. Wouldn't you just crying about that poor son of a bitch in the PJs? I oh, for Pete's sake, Clyde, I'm not saying we use them. If we pull big guns on people, they're going to do exactly what we tell them to. All right, look here. Just so you know, who's in the gang, what we do, what kind of guns we use, or if we go and join a damn monastery, it's all up to me. I'll make the decisions. Huh? Fine. Just a pop. Sorry, I had one. <laughs> <laughs> Miss me? Where'd you get the suit? Just picked it up from the tailor. Damn crazy. Herman, we got one too many convicts. Now you're about to have one too few. Don't move. Don't shoot me, are you, Barrel?
Bonnie, right? Ray Bonnie. Like your choice of weapons, Bonnie. See Colonel Simmons. I'll let him know you're both here. Thanks. You're Frank Hamer. I'm Ted Hinton, deputy of the Dallas PD. I, uh, I know Bonnie. I know both her and Clyde by sight. Yeah, I know who you are. And I know what you know. It's your posse, Frank. But I would put him on the spot, make sure Sam would shoot everybody in sight. That's about the run of it. Any questions? Just one. I'm not hearing the idea is to uh, shoot first and ask them to put their hands up when they're too dead to do it. Before she met Beryl, Bonnie Parker was a good girl. From a good family. Yeah, well, ran to trial would be best in any case. If you call a bear, it wouldn't displease me, at least we'd love having him back. And the question is, yeah, just when? It's all the same as keep the press out of this. Barrow finds out we're on their trail, just make our job a lot harder. Anything you can tell me from Barrow's time here? It might help in tracking him, distinguishing characteristics or the like. He just might be limping on his left side. Barrow paid the guy he busted out. To hack that little piggy off. Always heard legends seem smaller when you met him. Was wondering if I could buy you dinner on the Fort Worth Herald. Would like to do a full-on feature on you. The Herald. You must be P.J. Lane. I read some of your pieces, Miss Lane. You ought to be writing fiction. How's that? It's inventive how you made law enforcement seem the bad guy for insinuating that Barrow had something to do with the murder of that hardware store owner. What? What dinner on you get me? Keep you from having to read the same well of baloney that's been written about you before. About being able to hear shots before they're fired and gunning down 56 outlaws and all. 57, Miss Lane. Have a good one. Come on, Hamer. Going to write about you either way. At least tell me what about Bonnie and Clyde brought you out of retirement. Was it publicity? Smoke, Bonnie Parker. Nope. How's Rice Christian? Uh, 
You dropped something. Do yourself a favor, right? Grab a cold bear. What's for breakfast? Lady at the bakery said these are the best damn donuts ever. Great. I got you something else, too. Yeah? Yeah. What? Kodak folding autograph. All right. It's got focusable lenses, eight pictures per roll, the whole deal. <laughs> Figure it's time we do something about that old sophomore photo of yours, huh? Uh -huh. Mm. Yeah. So I want to shoot you down there, get you on some rocks. Clyde. The trees. Clyde, we aren't shooting the photos today. Why not? Problem with that sophomore photo, I didn't know they were taken that day. Girls got to get clothes, tailoring to get the fit. And you're just asking for trouble if you don't get a makeover. What's a makeover? He could stand some new duds. Not to mention a cut. <laughs> Your hair is strictly 20s. Hi hey there. It'd be nice. Turn for dip. Unless you want to double dip. You got water in those ears? I'm talking to you. You all right, Chloe? We need to stop. What? Did you, did you see this? Did you see who they hired to hunt us? Looks like he's seen better days. Yeah, you know, I met him. Back at the blacksmith shop. I knew it was a sign. And we needed to stop all this. Frank Hammer's the meanest son of a bitch. I know it sounds crazy, but I seen something. And it wasn't good at all. So all this is about one of those things you see, Clyde? No, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. You keep talking like that, they're going to put you in a place worse than your prison farm. We need to get out while we can, Bonnie. Forget about Ray and Rob Banks. Hold it. And get into what? Missionary work? And, and, and if I have a dream about a purple nine-eyed demon under our bed, should we give up sleeping together? You think I'm kidding around here, huh? No. We just risked our necks to bust Ray out so that we could get done what we both agreed we were going to do. So we could get what we both wanted. Yeah? Well, maybe I already got what I wanted. And if I say it's time to shut it down, then it's time to shut it down, right? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's almost midnight. You gonna come to bed? Well, when I'm done bathing. Tell you what to do. Since when you smoking? What's going on, Bob? You had some premonition or something? I guess I gotta try to understand that. But I knew there were gonna be lawmen after us. And whatever this Frank Hamer is to you, he's just another one to me. And I gotta tell you what I see looking for. And dark and foreboding at all. I see the two of us waking up one day, 
with all this behind us, with everything we ever dreamed of. Now, maybe the road we're taking to get to Dreamland isn't the greatest. But it's the road that called us. And if you're demanding we stop this thing we're doing, then, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to find some other way to get where I'm supposed to be. You ain't going nowhere. I could break the lens or anything, snap a couple of me and Bond. All right. Get more of a close up. You way back there. We hardly see our smile. Go ahead. What? Mm -hmm. That make you look mean. Not to mention sexy. Hey Ray, you got some tobacco on your lip. Oh. Yeah. Get it? All right, there. Come here. What's a little something for you? It's not one like this first. Oh, um, all right. Oh, wait. Make it even better out here. Like it look mean. Come on. Here in Manhattan. I was really excited to hear that Governor and Colonel Simmons got you on board, Captain Hamer. We could use all the help we could get. And we narrowed it down to five state air. Barrow's only committed a couple of his crimes outside of here, Texas. You can tell by the density on the map where he's done most of his damage. We've uh, got all the information on the crimes in this journal here, every detail you can imagine. We've recovered some of the clothes. You can take a look at them if you want. Hell, if we weren't prohibited from crossing state lines in our pursuit of them, we'd already have them by now. Well, I, I ain't prohibited. What I'd like is for you to just stop talking for a minute, Sheriff. Give me a pencil. One that works. What we got here is a creature of habit. Unless he's changed his spots, I'd say where he'd be next is somewhere in the zoo. I thought you might be interested in this. It seems like the man who did Bonnie and Clyde bus out of Eastham just got picked up trying to thumb a ride. Where? Joplin, Missouri. Yeah. I smell be in touch. Well, that's why they bust you out, Ray. And no other jobs they might need another gun for. Yeah. Told me they want to track down Frank Hamer. <laughs> bust a cap on him when he's sleeping. You know, Ray, I grouse hunt with Judge Wexler. Might be worth your while to tell us something we don't know. Ain't no stool, Hamer. Fine, you do right by Barrow, but I'll tell you, he done you no favors by busting you out of East Ham. Colonel Simmons, he ain't following Reiners, and he's tight with Judge Wexler. I don't intervene on your behalf. You ain't got one day left in your life without Simmons' thumb stuck up your ass. They were talking about getting back into banks. Getting some banks with some real money. Bonnie thought we'd pull some job size of what Pretty Boy was. 
We could get out of crime sooner. I don't know, probably try to find somebody to take my place. Any specifics on which banks, who the somebody might be? No. They kept the plane in themselves. You better tell me something I don't know about Bonnie and Clyde, Ray. Come on. They stay in campgrounds. Or just camp out, unless Bonnie can talk Clyde out of it. It tends to run careful. Drive all night if you're spooked. Always the back roads. Keeps a stack of license plates, always switching them. And Fords. Clyde loves big block Fords. Won't jack a car unless it's a V8. Done us all a favor, Hamilton. I'll talk to Wexler for you. Get a mugshot of Bonnie and Clyde in every bank in a five-state area. Find out from Simmons who Barra consorted with in the pen who's no longer in the pen. That'd be break in again. See if we can get local law to keep an eye on the cons and an eye out for Barra. You know, a while back, there was a burglar on Big D, and it wasn't just Clyde we went looking for. You should think about getting somebody on his big brother Buck. Good. See, it's done. Well, where am I going to find you? Barra drives the VA. We got to upgrade our horse. Coming. I'll be damned. Hey, doing big, brother. Good. Good. Real good. You look good yourself. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, you guys come in. Heard Blanche and Mom gone, so I'll catch up. Well, maybe best you come out to the car. Yeah, I love it. You told him no, didn't you? After the whiskey, what'd he promise you? The moon? No, he didn't promise me the moon. Just enough scratch to get us a home of our own, give us a run to start. Daddy, we're doing all right without them. We're living at your father's house, and he orders me around like a lapdog. What are you doing all he's right? He's giving you an opportunity. And so is Clyde. Besides, he's my brother and needs me to look out for him. Well, you'll both end up back in prison. Ain't nothing bad gonna happen, all right, Donna? Just start packing. What do you think you're doing? We're married. Well, I'll write to you. She ain't coming? Probably for the best. Let's go. Daddy! Daddy! Looks like she changed her mind. Am I stopping? Buck, you expect me to lose for supper? Maybe they heard you was in town. Glad to grab! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Go, baby! Pretty Boy Floyd made headlines in Kansas City, committing a brazen daylight attack to free Frank Nash, a federal prisoner, being returned to Leavenworth. Pretty Boy and his ruthless associates open fire with Tommy Gunn's the hell we outside the Kansas City train station, killing five lawmen in what is becoming known as the Kansas City Massacre.
Kato. Let's go. I thought I saw something. Don't think the work day is over. Shouldn't you be out on the trail trying to put a bullet in someone's head? You know how most outlaws get caught, Miss Lane? Enlighten me. Tips. From John Q. Public. The problem with Bunny and Clyde is we're not getting any. Now, I appreciate you. you're trying to make your star on their skin. But let me tell you the next beat in this story of yours. Pretty soon somebody else ends up dead. And there ain't no way you can perfume that. You'll be wondering if you hadn't painted Bunny and Clyde like Garbo and Gable, maybe somebody would have stepped forward, done the right thing. And this husband, that father, wouldn't be dead at all. If I don't write this story, someone else will. I suppose, but I don't see anybody else throwing out these photo spread. How'd you run across these pictures? I'm good at what I do, and I don't compromise my sources. All the same, I'm gonna need to see the uncropped versions of every one of these you got. Yeah, well, I'm not inclined to give them to you. I thought you might see it that way. That's why I got a warrant. I believe we got ourselves a shindig in Springtown. What do you say we take a break, Clad? Probably best not mix and mingle. Come on, brother. We could all stand to shake a leg. Been in the car all damn day. Could jump a new car here as well as anywhere. Sats, I've got a table. Come on, sugar. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Jump here. Hey, how about staying a little quieter? Keeping that corn mash out of sight. Hell with these people. I get to work. Keep an eye on Big Brother. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, no. It's too fast for me, Daddy. I don't want to. Come on. No, I don't want to. Hey, give me that. Go dance with your sister in law. It's killing her being a wallflower. Bonnie? All right. All right. Try and keep up. Come on.
Don't clock go. No sixteenths. Damn it. I said nine sixteenths. What? Gave me the wrong damn wrench. And you stole the wrong ride. What happened, Buck, is you got drunk and stupid and we killed the law. You kill the law, the others ain't gonna stop now, oh, not ever. Well, Bonnie's the one who got everyone looking our way. Playing to every farm boy like she played all those stuffed shirts at the wedding she didn't invite you. She to. was acting like a hussy, dancing around like Queen of Sheba. She's right, Clyde. But Bonnie's got you too tight by the balls for you to even see it. You better shut your mouth, Marvin. Or I'm gonna leave you and brain dead Blanche in a goddamn Are you threatening ditch. me? Are you threatening me? You want a taste of this? <laughs> Dumbass bad one. That's it. No! Oh! That's it! Get his ass, Daddy! Get his ass! Buck, you want to blame me? That's fine. Clyde, you want to blame Buck? That's fine, too. But none of this is going to do us any good. Lawman's dead. None of us are happy about that. But better him than us. Come hell or high water, we're a family. We start fighting amongst ourselves. We might as well be pissing in the wind. You all right? No. Hit me with a damn wrench. Yeah. Had to against that rock, yours. It's been on them out of state plates. Come on. A dozen witnesses said they were sure it was Bonnie they'd seen dancing. Description of the fellow that crippled Maxwell for life match at a buck barrel. Nobody <clears throat> got as good a look at the man who put a bullet in Eugene here, but uh, pretty sure it was Clyde. Eugene has three little ones. So the witnesses said that the driver, the man, you think was Barrow. Fired just once? Seems to be a consensus. Yeah, I'll leave y'all to it. I think he was lucky, Ted. Man who fired once and shot middle of the forehead. It's hard to say. Just so you know, I make my own luck. I get a shot at the man who done this. I'm shooting. Before he does. Suggest you do like. Nobody appoints you executioner, Frank. This man's doing it right now. If Barrow stays to form, he'll head east. Alert police in Missouri and Louisiana the Bunny and Clyde might be looking for refuge in their campgrounds, driving their back roads. But I want to widen the net. As of tomorrow, I want to be reading police reports from Alabama, Georgia, Florida. Yeah, but I thought we didn't tell him to stay within that circle of yours. Yeah, but I think killing cops is going to push him out of his usual circles. I'm happy, my cows have flown away a new day With nothing in the way, and darling, let's dance together in the morning Slice of heaven, huh? And you, so I'm fair-skinned. Too much light in the sun and good for me. Not to mention what you're doing to my lungs, those stupid Havana's butt stall. All right, princess, let's go for a dip. Shall we be getting back to work soon? You know, for being on holiday, you seem kind of on edge. Well, you're always on edge. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The idea it might be time to head back to Texas. No. I was thinking it's time to scratch my balls. Missouri. And those pictures. Where are those damn pictures? What pictures? Damn newspaper photos. Look.
Help you with something? Doubtful. Unless you got any guests registered to Missouri Plates 89983. It's supposed to be my day off. Instead, I got called in on this scavenger hunt to nowhere. Into every hostel and inn and... Well, hello, nurse. Ain't got nothing but a whole lot of butt sweat for my efforts. In Bungalow 7. Oh, shit. Your phone. Uh, I need your phone. Hey, no need to get wild with some drive off this morning. God damn it. But they're, they're coming back. They ain't even checked out. Who y'all looking for? Bonnie and Clyde. Dale McClanahan, I'm in charge here. Heard a lot about you, Captain Hammer. Saw your snipers out there, Dale. And police cruisers out back, and there's more men in here than we need. I'd recommend him and him go get in the cruisers and drive them and themselves back to the station. Your snipers, I want them in here where Barrow can't see him. And I can tell him what I need him to do. You do speak English, don't you, Dale? Let's go. Fish rodeo success. I don't eat fish. Too fishy. Well, now you tell. You've read the story of Jesse James, of how he lived and died. If you're still in need of something to read, here's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. They call them cold blooded killers. They say they are heartless and mean. But I say this with pride that I once knew Clyde when he was honest and upright and clean. But the laws fooled around, kept taking him down and locking him up in a cell, till he said to me, I'll never be free. So I'll meet a few of them in hell. What do you do? Found a car, Captain Hamer. Missouri plates, 89983, abandoned in Biloxi. We got no lead where Bowen and Ying might be. Why'd you do it, Frank? Why'd you come out of retirement for Bonnie and Clyde? For the money. I heard you were making more as a union buster. Well, you know, it's not just the salary. Remember that pickled toe of Barra's that Simmons threw at me? I got that in the cupboard at home. It's Barra's saxophone. Bonnie's typewriter. Their clothes, their guns. It's memorabilia, Ted. There's a whole network out there. You get as much notoriety as those two, their stuff will sell for hundreds, thousands. The longer you hang on to it, the more it's worth. So all the other outlaws you took care of, is there much money in memorabilia? I could give two shits about memorabilia. Money! I came back because there's no better feeling on this earth than putting a bullet in the brain of somebody you and God and any half-decent person knows need a bullet put in them.
It's the best this damn thing can do. How's that? Sometimes something happens, something terrible avoided, but that don't mean it was for the better. If I wouldn't have had that inkling about Hamer, it'd have all been over in Florida. Bonnie would have gotten the biggest headline then, and there'd have been a lot less mess. Pushed him out. Christmas Day. He had a gun. You all saw it, right? How are you going to perfume this, Miss Lang? Where's the body? How many bullets? Where's my story? I'm not sure if I can cover them anymore. Try saying that different. A lot different. I just can't help thinking I've been aiding and abetting, sir. We sell newspapers, PJ. It isn't our fingers pulling the trigger. You know this story better than anyone. You gotta turn it so you can live with yourself. Turn it. Bonnie and Clyde are the bad guys. Make them the bad guys. I thought he had a gun, but I didn't say nothing. Yeah, well, don't. All right. You need a blanch. How's your mother? Oh, she's just fine. Thanks for asking. Maybe you ought to lighten up. Prohibition's over. You lighten up. You got a play on your jack of hearts? I saw that. She don't even mean it. Why'd 
they always get the bigger room? Why's she always the one divvying up the money? Can we just play dominoes, damn it? She talks about family. Us all sticking together, but she's just out for herself. She's shorting us, Buck. That little hoop chest of hers. You notice how she never opens it when anyone's around? No, I haven't. It's probably just her under thingies. Any damn case to know your damn business. Like hell it isn't. And I was right there behind her. I sure didn't see no gun. Company. Daddy? Keep it polite. Keep it polite. Daddy, what's going on? Get out. This is the police. We've got you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. You got one minute to exit the building. Stay low. Grab our stuff. All right, all right. I could get some, just a can of coffee and some beans and a loaf of that bread there, too. Some ice. I could use some ice. Yeah. You also have some of those bandages over there, too? <laughs> and, uh, about a can of that lighter fluid right there. Yeah. Is that it? What's the damage? It'll be 175. 
Where do I? Can I, uh, help you with that? No, no, no. Oh, my. Yeah, I sprained my shoulder playing baseball with the friends. Keep the change. We brought everything we had and gave it good. They just got lucky. Lucky? Unless I'm mistaken, didn't you and I have a conversation that I'd be here in the morning and take charge of the apprehension? We had reason to believe they might be gone come morning. Mm -hmm. Really? It had nothing to do with you want to make a name for yourself by calling Bonnie and Clyde? It was like nothing I've ever seen. It looked like the 4th of July and then some. It was Bonnie doing the shooting. I only saw her for an instant as her car raced by. I'll never forget her. She was the one firing that Tommy. Good girl, Ted. Jesus, you're sweet on her. Just got word out of Iowa. Clerk at a market in Dexter works as a night marshal. Just ID Clyde Bear. You told him to wait till I got there? I tried, but my deputy heard it from a dispatcher. Sounds like the train, damn big one from what he understood, just left the station. Why is every idiot with a badge? You gotta try to out idiot the other. It's cold, buddy. We're cold. Got a good fire burning out. It'll be okay. Can't take no more, Daddy, sir. I just hope the best day hurt. on his head. Should take down the swell and ease his pain. He's also bandages in the other one. Can't hardly see, Clyde. I was talking to Bonnie. Your brother walked five miles into town to get to this iceberg. I'll get you home. Don't go to home. They're coming. Come on, wake up right now, they're coming. Daddy, Daddy, come on. Come on, right now.
What isn't fair is my brother lying back there with half his damn head blown off. I didn't want him involved. Well, he got involved. And even if he dies, people are going to remember him. Buck got to be part of something. Something that's bigger than all of us. Do you know how many people get nothing but 60 years of nobody knowing their life absolutely? And that's all you care about, isn't it? People knowing who you are. I said you weren't a horrible person, Bonnie, but I was wrong. You don't care about Buck. You don't love me. Oh, I'm just a footnote in the story of you. Every time the blood was leaking out of some poor bastard, you figured just as much ink flowed to building up the legend of Bonnie Parker. Christmas? That wasn't cause for mercy, was it? Huh? No, that was just reason for the papers to print your picture bigger, huh? You never saw a goddamn gun, did you? Did you? Did you? Hey! One of them got banged up, maybe burned. They'll be looking for safe harbor. I want to get word out to every gang member I ever worked with. To the families of all gang members. There's full pardons and reward money for anyone who gives up there. Well, I hope someone does. Been on this a while. And we'll be on it. Till it's finished. You said I got no reason to keep breathing. You got every breath. You remember when Clyde didn't even trust you to be a lookout, Bond? Pretty boy himself would run away if he ran into you now. Pride loves you, though. You pushed him right off the front page. Pretty keen on staying out the limelight now, Henry. Understood. There's no better place to do it than nowhere, Louisiana. Really appreciate you putting us up. Hell, 
They got skin off my teeth. It's an honor to do it. You sure your father doesn't want us buffing down here? Nah, don't worry about him. Hiding three fugitives no harder than one. You keep us in groceries, he'll be happy enough. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast with Bonnie and Clyde. I had a dream, Clyde. What you dream about? Johnny. He was the cutest little thing. All bundled in his crib and laughing. Not a care in the world. I dream we had a baby. Johnny didn't have his father's funny little nose, did he? <laughs> he had the most perfect nose. Curly blonde hair. Blonde? <laughs> Pretty green eyes, like steady. Iverson Mountain. Yeah, I got them both. Are you sure you can see the thing on the whole thing? going to clean this grammar. I don't know how much longer. A few days, maybe a week. She ain't doing real good. Okay, there's a reward, right? Bienville Parish, Louisiana. Where are we going, Clyde? Texas. Figure we should see your family, your mama and mine. Get some new clothes. Will you bought that Easter ham for the meth fans? Yeah, we pretty much played out our will. Mom will be so happy to see this. Yeah, you are so cute. They were selling these little darlings, Clyde. They were practically giving away. No, I don't like rabbits, they're dirty. He's a heck of a lot cleaner than you. I don't want that thing in the car. It's a present for my mama, Clyde. Fine. If that's how you feel, just take the dirt away, buddy, and give it back. What you drinking, Mom? Whatever I please. Yeah, well, don't look to be pleasing you. You look miserable. What the hell would I have to be miserable about? It ain't helping anyway. I ought to get me some of whatever pharmaceutical Roy Thornton's wife's floating on over there. She's in a lot of pain. Pretty sure the two of you have given a lot more than you've gotten. These days with the sons, those are the days you've come visit. No matter what you did, I was always happy to see my little ray of sunshine. But Buck, he was trying to be good. The fact that you'd done so much bad, you couldn't even go to your own brother's funeral. Mom. You're the reason he's dead. Barry Clyde, not the cops that shot him, not the fakes. It's just you. I think we need to start weaning you off that Amethyst. You are so cute. All this is gonna eat you up. Mm -hmm. Hear what I'm saying? Yeah, but right now, I was just gotta say, it's just making things easier. You know what? Mama's not gonna appreciate you near as much as us. We're gonna keep you soon, boy. What do you think about that? Folks, all right? 
Paul, where is Rise Rock and Bay? Just enjoying the day. Fixing to have a little picnic uh, just over there by that tree. Find enough spot for that. Right? Yeah. Just to make sure you're okay. Thank you. All right. Happy Easter, miss. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. <laughs> yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I prepares the table before me. My great grandma said the good book called the apple eve ate the fruit of knowledge. I never understood why knowledge was thought to be the ruler of so much suffering. The ongoing saga of Bonnie and Clyde took another dark turn on Easter Sunday, as two young lawmen, E.B. Wheeler and Holloway Murphy, were gunned down outside the notorious outlaw couple's hometown of Dallas. Wheeler's widow, slated to marry the man she called E.B. the following weekend, found herself wearing her wedding gown to a much less festive affair. And while Bonnie and Clyde had at one time been virtual folk heroes, a rancher who witnessed the event was far from impressed with what he saw. And after, she shot that lawman she set up. See how his head bounced, Clyde? Like a rubber ball, that's what she said. You believe that? Like a rubber ball. Man, oh man. The hunt continues for Bonnie and Clyde, who are believed to be hiding out in Louisiana. Police have set up roadblocks on all roads leading to other states. But on that Easter Sunday, I tasted the apple. And the knowledge it gave me of what I needed to do wasn't sweet at all. while you were dozing. I want to pick him up. Yeah. Figured we could pull a few jobs in Louisiana. Maybe push it to Arkansas. You know what I've been thinking, Clyde? There ain't no mind reader. We should lie in white for you. Who? Frank Hayner. Put one in him instead of the other way around. Get us a hell of a headline, too. I don't give two dams about that. Just... Nice to be able to sleep better at night. enjoying how beautiful everything is.
Frank. I do. That's Methvin's truck, isn't it? Hamer, that you didn't give Bonnie and Clyde a warning, just executed them? Ma'am, I'm afraid what we all gave Bonnie and Clyde was exactly what they wanted. Mr. Hamer, 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 Mr.